I'm Dallin Wright. I work for Meyer Industries as a project manager. We were approached by Central Washington Refrigeration to start working on the O'Keefe Distribution Center. This is a project mainly storing cold and dry products and it's located in Centralia, Washington. So when we were contacted by the owner of CWR, they asked us to start a bid for this project and we were able to put a bid together pretty quickly for them. After we started the whole bid process for this job, we were able to get all the necessary bid documents and uh, engineering documents and send that over to our engineers. One of the benefits of using Myro is we have an in-house engineering team. And since we have an in-house engineering team, we're able to cut out time and extra costs on a project. So our lead engineer, Rob Davis, was a big help on this project. My name is Rob Davis. I'm the senior engineer for Myro Industries. I focus primarily on designing supports that are gonna be subject to wind and seismic loading. So as far as problems, it's kind of just a standard job where we're provided information, the roof layout, and then I was just sorting through the details, trying to account for the slope of the roof. Typically where we start at is with the roof plan. Um, contractor identifies there's pipe on the roof, he sends it to us. Um, from there, we coordinate the size of the pipe and then we'll get into the loading on the pipe. So this job in Washington is subject to wind and seismic design, not just um, gravity loading or just wind loading. Wind loading is based on code requirements. Based on that code, anything that's exposed to wind has to be designed for wind loading. Of course, we're on a rooftop, we're exposed to wind, so we need to address that. Seismic forces are a little bit different. They can be exempted if, depending on your seismic risk for that building. Um, this one in Washington, we're pretty high seismic zone, so we had to look at seismic forces as well. Myro's been in business for 30 plus years designing primarily free-floating supports, meaning it's not attached to the roof. You're not penetrating the, the roof membrane. You're not opening up potential leak hazards. What the wind and seismic code requires is that we do have to penetrate. We have to attach to the structure. So what we try to do is we go through and we, we optimize our design to limit the number of penetrations through the roof while also meeting the code requirements. We try to think it through all users to make it easy, economical, and code compliant. I think the fabrication shop plays a, an important role in Myro's success. We make sure that our parts are done with the best quality that we can give them and make sure that everything is on time. So that's how we're able to get things done, is they see a need, they step in and they fill that need. So after Rob was able to finish his design and stamp the job, we were able to send that immediately into production. Um, there were a few challenges, just the sheer size of all the frames that we needed to build. We were able to break this job up into multiple phases so that we could meet the timelines of the job. And to keep the timelines of that job, we had to work extra hours, buy some new equipment, and honestly, we just had to put a lot of effort into the phases. So we can only do so much work at a time. So when that job came through, it came through in, in phases. So we would work on as much as we could, and we're not working on everything at the same time. We would have the, the laser running certain parts, we would have the saw cutting, parts and then when everything came together we would put all of our parts together in a phase. Breaking up the phases enables us to look at each frame, each section at more detail. So more of like a 50 foot view instead of a 100 foot view. So when they're about finishing up the first phase, the next phase is starting on the laser and we, we cycle everything through. So once the system is fully charged, as everything runs through, uh, every couple days we get a certain number of parts out. So it's basically done in almost an assembly line process to get the work done in a, in a timely manner. So after the fabrication of our frames are completed, we send all those frames to the local galvanizer. That enables us to get a 30-year coating on all of those frames. After we get all those frames back from the galvanizer, we send that to the shop once again where they're able to assemble the job and then put it on a dedicated truck going all the way to Centralia. My name is Darren Howard. I work for Central Washington Refrigeration. One of the jobs that we do is put in industrial refrigeration ammonia systems for multiple applications. We're over here in Centralia, Washington, doing a project for Amazon Unified. Some of their specifications required us to have seismic in this particular area in the world. We were required to put a system in that was engineered for that need. And so we reached out to get a system that would have seismic abilities and meet our needs and meet FM Global's needs. 
This is the first time we've ever used the system and we're happy with what we've done so far. We like the fact that what you have as a finished product that you've already got on film as far as the way they attach to the roof and the nice clean look coming up out of this membrane roof. Uh, it's a good sealed system. Uh, it has been working really well for us. Between Miro and CWR's collective efforts, we're actually able to finish the job within the desired timeline and actually under budget. The fact that we build all of our stands in-house, we have in-house engineering, we're able to control the timeline and lots of the costs going into the project. Overall, I, I think the job went really well. There were no problems. The material was on time. Dallin did a really good job with uh, managing the program. We had material delivered when it was supposed to be here. Everybody knew the importance of the job, and we were able to get it done with really no problems at all. As a result, O'Keefe Distribution Center will benefit knowing that they have a secure piping system in place that can withstand wind and seismic forces. So Myra is a leader in rooftop supports because we do take it from design all the way through. We're able to look at the complexities of a job. We're able to look at each job individually and determine what's required for that specific job. We're not gonna give you a worst case scenario, one size fits all solution. It's gonna be catered to your project to meet the needs of your project. Myro Industries is committed to their customers and their specific needs. How can we support you is not only just a company motto, but it's actually the Myro way.